If you're of Caribbean origin, you're significantly more likely to be diagnosed with schizophrenia than any other ethnic group. There's reported to be a lot of stigma in the African Caribbean community and perceptions of mental health services as being institutionally racist. My diagnosis is paranoid schizophrenia. As a black service user, I know from experience that we do get the raw end of the deal. We're more likely to be placed in um, police custody. We're more likely to be sectioned. We're more likely to be given medication. This sort of reinforces this vicious circle of fear among the African Caribbean community and leads to people not engaging with mental health services. All the time, people are getting sicker. And so by the time they get involved with services, what was maybe an acute illness has now become something quite chronic. People are very fearful, very mistrustful of mainstream mental health services. We need something that would be more culturally appropriate and more acceptable for this community. CAFI is culturally adapted family intervention. My experiences of the research has been overwhelmingly positive. One of the most um, positive things has been the level of engagement with the community. Going to the drop-in at African Caribbean Mental Health Services and talking to service users about what would help them. We ask community members, you know, would you be able, would you be willing to come alongside somebody who has a diagnosis of schizophrenia to help them to receive the therapy? I've suffered from mental health myself. I want to help others who are still in that place because I know how difficult it can be. I'm involved in the project because I wanted to know more about helping my brother. He was diagnosed 30 years ago with schizophrenic. My mental health diagnosis is paranoid schizophrenia and that means for me that I hear voices. I was offered a course of sessions with a psychologist. So I had that and that really helped me a lot. My role was to deliver the culturally informed psychological intervention. I think I really underestimated some of the obstacles that people from African Caribbean backgrounds face until I really listened and really asked questions. Because it's a speaking therapy, I thought it'd be good for my brother. Before Cafe, he never really spoke about how he felt or what's happened to him throughout the years. Overall, it's been amazing. I offered my support, I offered my perspectives, um, and although that might seem like quite a small role, I think it did have quite a big impact on the service user. You're helping other people, and in my case especially, other black people, to have a less, a less damaging experience of psychiatric service. Working alongside service users who also experience psychosis but from a different culture really opened my eyes to the importance of culture in understanding people's difficulties. We really wanted to make sure that the research was being delivered and it was designed in a way that actually met the needs of African Caribbean people. Um, and so um, getting feedback from community members and service users and carers of African Caribbean background was really, really important to us. We've had community engagement all the way through, from those conferences where people were putting forward their ideas about what needed to be done, to the people who came forward, we had a service user as part of the grant writing team and the people who bid for the research, and really wanted to use that to make a difference, to make things better. As far as my brother's concerned, he's now realised that there are people out there who will listen to him, we're not alone, and that there are people out there willing to help. My confidence is better. I'm not afraid to approach people and speak to them. I feel happier in myself after the sessions with the psychologist as well. The changes that they reported were things like feeling less isolated and feeling like they'd um, developed more positive relationships with their family members. We've put in for an outline bid to the National Institute for Health Research to see whether or not we can get some funding to take this on and develop it further. Service users, families, carers and the therapists have all said they would like to see this rolled out nationally. 
I would urge any colleague to take part in the CAFI study. We need to talk and that's the only way that we can help each other. If there's people out there thinking about getting involved with CAFI, they should stop thinking and just do it.